is Kathy Clement with Kathy by Design and I'm glad you could join me here today. I have another really cute folio to share with you. I did a tutorial this week for um, an authentic fabulous folio where I showed you how to build the base and I'll put the link to that in the description below. But I had such fun making that that I made another one for Petaloo. Um, this is kind of a Mother's Day theme. Since my mom is no longer with us and my husband's mom is no longer with us, I made this for a very dear friend who is a seamstress. So it has a sewing theme. The folio is has a 5x7 cardstock cover. There's a 1-inch spine, although I filled this one a little full, so I wish I had gone an inch and a half or two inches, and decorated on the back. I will show you what I use. This is... Kaiser Craft. This is their Mademoiselle collection, which comes with um, 12 by 12 sheets and a bonus sticker page. And then I also bought um, the little package of collectibles that goes with it. And this is a bunch of die cuts and images, and you'll see how I use those throughout. So let's take a look. As I said, this is a sewing theme. For the front of this, uh, I thought it would be fun. I created a little pocket and in the pocket I've placed some vintage buttons on a stamped vintage button card and this little miniature scissor. You can get these from the Funky Junkie Boutique and some really pretty um, uh, polka dot grow grain ribbon from Really Reasonable Ribbon. And then also I've created this little tag to go in the pocket and here are, oops my little butterfly's wings got crushed. These are the gloss images that come on a sheet and you fussy cut them out and then um, uh, this is one of the little collectible pieces, butterflies that I fussy cut from the paper and then this is one of the little uh, 3x4 journaling cards that comes in the collection. So there's the front and on the back there's room to put a photo. So that's that and then down here on the pocket I decorated it with a little Primo resin frame and inside I put this saying that says, friendship is sewn with love and measured in kindness. And then for the petaloo on the cover, I've used these beautiful green anemones. Some This is antique red, but they have a lot of pink of them. The vintage velvet pansies. These are the little uh, mixed mini blossoms. And I have more petaloo on the inside. I'll just show you quickly what I used for petaloo. This is the mixed green mini blossoms. I used every last one of those, so those are gone. And then I also used these petite cream blossoms. These are Darjeeling. And then I used the Darjeeling um, green garden mini garden rosettes and leaves. And then here are those anemones. They're just beautiful. These are the Botanica anemones and the color is pistachio and then here are the botanica velvet pansies and they're red but they have a lot of pink so they worked for this collection then i just custom dyed seam binding with a con uh, combination of vintage velvet um, tattered rose and spun sugar and bundled sage and that's my little bow so cute little um stamped um ribbon spool with a uh, thread spool with ribbon, a little needle, just cute. And um, on the spine, I ran seam binding through and I just tied on a little itty tiny, I don't know if you can see that, miniature spool that I wrapped a border piece around. Here's a cute little vintage metal sewing machine and then these little tiny scissors and a really pretty button. So. It's held closed with a ribbon binding. This is um, ivory silky crush ribbon, one and a half inch wide that you can get from really reasonable ribbon. So the folio opens like this. And um, the first page is a pocket page that I've decorated with more flowers, images, and then I put inside these pretty photo mounts and I just created um, a belly band to around this one and then um, a little journaling sheet that you can also use for photos. These are decorated on the front. You can put a photo on the front and a photo on the back. So as you can see this will hold quite a few photos. I love the paper in this collection. Like I said it's called Mademoiselle. It's got a wonderful sewing, vintage sewing theme. So these just go in this pocket. 
And then on this one, this is a little different from the tutorial I did. Because it had a one inch spine, I thought I'm gonna add a pocket page. So here's the pocket page. This is one of the large images from the collection. I cut a slit and then I put these little pieces inside. I created this cute, this is one of Tim Holtz's mini hangers and I turned it into a really cute embellishment by gluing a flower and then crocheted lace. So these just stick in this little pocket that I, slash cut pocket that I created. And then also I did this up, um, I like to use waste chipboard to elevate items. It's a lot cheaper than foam tabs. So I put them in the four corners and that created a pocket for more of these journaling cards where you can put a photo on the back. So these are in there. So that's kind of fun. My friend is an amazing quilter and um, recently sent me just a very meaningful gift. We, we've been friends since seventh grade. <laughs> so how about that? That's a while. And then this little clip I embellished. This is just one of Tim Holtz's. Actually, this is just a little binder clip I picked up at Staples. And I embellished it with ribbon and flowers. And this holds these. Um, photo mounts. So there are four more photo mounts in the pocket. I thought she could use this album to put pictures of her quilts, which is kind of fun. I'll just set those aside. And then the page turns over. I did a slash pocket and I used vintage, stamped vintage button cards and added some pretty buttons. Stuck those in the slash pocket. This is one of Tim Holtz's um, found relatives, and I just added a saying from the collection with one of the chipboard keys, and then this flips over, and there's a little pocket that holds a journaling card and room on the back for a photo. And of course, you could slip more smaller photos into here. So these all go in the pocket. And then over here, this is just like a decorative page, and you can slip little um, you could actually put like buttons back behind your I like that actually I might just do that so um, I love this beautiful design paper it's so vintage and so feminine and I just popped this chipboard rose up on um, waste um, chipboard to make a pocket and here we are at the waterfall page and each waterfall measures three and a quarter by three and three quarters, scored a half an inch edge to make my hinge, and then just decorated the pages very simply. And you can put um, three by three photos in here. And there's room for journaling. Again, I always glue just the bottom edge so that photos and such can slip behind. But um, this just gives you a, there's a lot of photos. And then here's another little pocket with another little button card that I made with pretty buttons. And um, could also put a gift card in there if you wanted to. That's the waterfall page. Then that brings us to this center pocket page. Oh, I know, this was supposed to go in here. Sorry, <laughs> fell out. Okay, so that's fixed. That's just another little spool with a little flower embellishment that I did. But I like that right there, that looks good. Okay, so center pocket, and this panel is five by seven, and I just created a pocket and then glued down one of the chipboard sentiments just on the bottom to create another mini pocket where I tucked in these little ephemera bits. Then I created this little three by four folio um, from one of the journal pages, and this opens out room for a photo here. Um, pocket here that you could put little treasures in. This says treasure these moments always. And um, so that's that. And then I also created another bundle of photo mounts using designer paper on the front. And I left these plain so there's room for photos. Um, my friend just recently had her first grandbaby, so I'm sure there's some pictures of him that maybe we'll get in here. Or she can use it, as I said, for pictures of her magnificent quilts. And then that's not all. This flips over. And then we have these two three and a quarter inch pockets here that I just decorated the fronts. Again, here I've stuck a little um, tag, turned it into a little embellishment. Friends are special treasures of the heart. 
and that just kind of sticks in here along with this little vintage sewing machine postcard and butterfly. Then over here I cut one of the sentiment strips down, added a little banner flag edge, fussy cut a little butterfly, and then I just made these little tags that she can use for photos or journaling or whatever she chooses. And there's that one. I love all the vintage sewing machines. My mom was a seamstress, so these bring back happy memories for me. And then everything just folds up, neat as you please. Tuck these guys back in the pocket, like that. This folds over and it ties shut and everything is tucked away and neat and tidy. So as I said, I will link the um, tutorial that I made for this um, below and you can make the folio, you'll get the basic idea. This is a super easy um, folio base to make and then you can dress it up as much or as little as you choose. So thanks for joining me. I'm so happy to share this with you with all these beautiful petaloo blossoms and go get your craft on. Mm -hmm.